I'm Dr. Amy Brunner, and today I wanted to talk to you about a skin disorder that has a predisposition for the vulva or the skin around the vagina called lichen sclerosis. Lichen sclerosis is a chronic lifelong skin condition that preferentially attacks the vulva. And the cause of lichen sclerosis really is unknown, but what we do know about it is that it's an autoimmune disease that in an autoimmune disease, the body is essentially attacking itself. Some of the theories of why this happens are uh, due to trauma, either from maybe bicycle riding or from uh, sexual encounters, or even from certain infections such as Lyme disease or even chronic yeast. Gluten sensitivity has also been associated with lichen sclerosis. The symptoms of lichen sclerosis can really vary. In fact, about 50% of people are asymptomatic, but it is still extremely important for asymptomatic women to be treated and followed by their gynecologist, as about 5% of women with this skin disorder do go on to develop cancer of the vulva. The other 50% of women may have symptoms that are just excruciating and very annoying and that also can interfere with their sex life. Symptoms can include itching, burning, trouble having an orgasm, uh, tearing uh, with sex or even just with wiping. The area of the vulva can also become extremely disfigured, particularly around the clitoris and cause significant scarring of the clitoris. Up until recently, there really have been limited treatments for lichen sclerosis and the mainstay of therapy has been using clobetazole, which is an ultra potent steroid. The problem with using clobetazole is that it's kind of cumbersome to use this therapy. The skin of the vulva is extremely thickened in women with lichen sclerosis. And this thickened skin makes the steroid less likely to be absorbed and therefore effective. In addition, just a lot of women are just unresponsive to this ultra potent steroid and it requires that a woman soak in the bathtub for about 15 to 20 minutes before the application. Chronic steroid use certainly has its own associated side effects. We have been offering our patients an additional therapy, something called platelet-rich plasma, or the O-shot procedure, and are seeing extremely satisfying results with this therapy, including complete resolution of the disease. Now the O-shot, which uses PRP or platelet-rich plasma, what that involves is actually drawing blood from the patient and putting it in a special machine called a centrifuge, which separates out the components of the blood. So we get a component of the blood called PRP or platelet-rich plasma. And then that is injected back into the diseased area. And the platelet-rich plasma has growth factors that induce a healing response. And then over time, we're left with um, you know, more normal tissue and many women have complete resolution of their disease and have a, a lot more normal looking vulva and clitoris. So I'd love to talk to you about this um, in more detail and see if you would be a candidate for platelet-rich plasma or the O-shot for lichen sclerosis. But either way, I encourage any patient with lichen sclerosis to get yearly or even twice yearly examinations by their gynecologist so they're always on the lookout for uh, the development of premalignant or malignant changes of the vulva.